Hi friends! So if you are looking for ways to add digital products to your shop right now, you're in the right place. I am currently under a shelter in place order in Austin as I film this um, because of quarantine and all of that fun, exciting stuff. Um, so I know a lot of people are looking for ways to add digital products to their lineup if they have physical goods. So um, I've got six different ways to add income without selling physical products and these are really great career paths there are a lot of people who dive headlong into one of these niches and really go for it and make full-on careers out of it so let's talk about it now all right so first and foremost if you are an illustrator or a designer or a letterer freelance <laughs> this is probably a no-brainer but um, if you're someone like me I used to freelance a long time ago and I didn't really like it um, but out of necessity a lot of people are coming back to it and a lot of people make their entire careers they have booming careers just from freelancing like that's that's just what they do and it's amazing um, so if you're looking for resources for that you can Firstly, email your friends and contacts. Just let them know, hey, you know, I'm looking for freelance work. Here's my portfolio. Um, you know, do you have any leads for me? Do you have any connections that might be good? Always reach out to your friends first because they might have a bead on something that you don't even know about. So it's good to just put it out there and let people know that you are freelancing because uh, people won't know otherwise. You got to put yourself out there. Um, another way you can kind of find work and get resources is through your local AIGA. And there are used to be meetups, not so much anymore, but they have lots of really great digital resources and a community there. So look up AIGA in your area and they will definitely have something for you. Okay, number two is Patreon. So Patreon is something that I have been thinking about getting for a long time and haven't pulled the trigger and I think I might get into it now. I don't know, it's been on the list of things to do. But Patreon is really great for pin clubs, sticker clubs, postcard clubs, print clubs. Um, you can do physical products and send things out uh, monthly to subscribers at different tiers, but you can also do things like um, you can have exclusive podcasts or Q and A's or draw with me sessions. Um, what else? I wrote something else down. Oh yeah, exclusive newsletters, um, exclusive lives, stuff like that, um, that you can give to people, wallpapers, downloads, <laughs> so like think of them all off the top of my head. Um, things like that can be rewards for people pledging and um, supporting you on Patreon. So some resources for that, you can, Patreon has a lot of really great resources on their blog. Anyway, a Skillshare class by someone from Patreon <laughs> that you can do. I have a link for two months free on Skillshare down below so you can check that out. And um, I know I love Fran, uh, Fran Nerd, and I'll put a link to her video too about how kind of she runs her own Patreon, which is really interesting. It's nice to see behind the scenes of someone who is so successful and kind of how they manage their time and things like that. So um, I think Patreon is a really great way. And I know she has been really, Fran's been really grateful for having that income during this time. So her supporters, even if it's just, you know, a couple bucks a month, you know, if you have enough, that's huge. And you're able to, you know, make your art and do your stuff and still create. And uh, yeah, I think Patreon is a great thing. Okay, the third thing you can do is add downloads to your shop. So this can be everything from downloadable coloring sheets. You can have, let me check my list because I have a whole list that I made for you guys. We've got printable prints, actual prints. Someone can print out postcards, stickers. Um, just tell people to print it out on sticker paper and then they can cut them out. Um, this is cutting out apparently. <laughs> um, banners, photo booth props. How fun would photo booth props be right now when you're stuck at home? You can make your own kind of photo booth and take silly pictures to post, things like that. You could do wrapping paper, you can do greeting cards, photographs that people can print out. Um, and then you can get into the patterns. So like embroidery patterns, cross stitch patterns. If you crochet and knit at all, you could sell those. There are marketplaces, places like Ravelry where you can sell patterns and things like that. Um, so there are lots of different things you can do to um, add downloadables 
for a couple of bucks into your shop. Etsy also allows uh, downloads, which is really great. So I actually have a list. I made a little checklist for you so you can download that below. So check that out. <laughs> that way you don't have to remember. And I mean, I'm checking my notes too because there's so many different things to do. So I've put them all in a checklist for you. So download that below. <laughs> all right, the fourth option is a virtual workshop. So if you have a skill or something that you can teach, you can do this pretty easily. I mean, I have my courses that I teach and I use a specific platform and I have websites and all that stuff, but you don't have to go that far with it. You can just open a Facebook group and just have a pop-up Facebook group, go and teach something live or go put up a video that you've already made and chat with people and then people can pay you for access to that. So you could have a workshop that you charge like 25 to 100 bucks for depending on what the subject is. So you can use a Facebook group for that. You could even like have a special email list and send out like unlisted YouTube videos so they have access to it. You could do a YouTube or an Instagram live and then people can pay for access to that video after you do it. Um, but I do think probably the Facebook is probably the easiest and cheapest, probably quickest way to get that out there and get that done. So start brainstorming on things that you can teach other people um, because there's definitely uh, room for that right now. Okay, the fifth one is kind of a big one and a little bit more difficult, but it is a way to go. <laughs> you can license your artwork. So there are people who make their entire careers out of licensing artwork. I actually purchased a course called um, Art Licensing for Letterers, and I reached out to the, um, the creators of the course, Katie from Katie Made That, and she has a friend that she did it with, and um, I asked her, like, is this just for letterers or can this be for illustrators in general? And she said it was great for really everybody. They were speaking to letterers because that's what they do um, but I'm not really a letterer <laughs> so I wanted to make sure before I purchased the course and she said it would she said uh, she said it would work uh, for anyone so um, that's something to think about too if you want to look into art licensing um, that way it's uh, that's when larger corporations or other businesses purchase the rights to use your work on their stuff and um, that way you don't have to do any of the product production. They're really just paying you for permission to use your artwork. So that is definitely another way to go. And it kind of goes into my sixth thing, which is print on demand. So you can use things like Redbubble, Society6, Spoonflower, uh, Printful, places like that, who um, you kind of have your own sort of storefront and you put your designs up and people can pick whatever they want to put your work on, or you can have kind of preset things that you have chosen, and then they handle all of the production of it. You get a much smaller percentage of the actual sale because they are handling all of the printing, all of the production, all of the shipping, everything. <laughs> uh, but there are a lot of people who make a ton of money from those shops. All of this comes with a caveat that you need to have an audience and you need to be promoting yourself. I don't want you to feel bad about promoting yourself. Even right now, the way things are in the world while I'm filming this, um, you check out my video about not feeling salesy when you go to sell, because that will kind of help flip your mindset a little bit around selling and um, make you feel a little bit better because you have something to offer. You have something fun. You have something that can put a smile on people's faces right now. And that's really, really important, <laughs> okay? And in terms of building your audience, I do have a free webinar all about building your Instagram audience specifically. So you can check that out below. And um, it's got lots of really practical tips, lots of high level stuff, uh, tips on how to photograph, even um, tips on engaging captions. And I've got a little bit about um, your email list in there as well, because I think that's super important right now. <laughs> um, so definitely check that out because you do need to, any of these options that you choose, you still need to be promoting them to your audience because you can't just expect to like put a spoon flower shop up and then just have it go gangbusters. Like you still need to put the work in, uh, but if you put the work in and whatever you feel like focusing on, you know, kind of go all in and figure it out and do it for yourself. And then you can have 
digital products to sell on top of physical stuff and uh, I think that can really help so yeah so give me a like and a subscribe our um, secret emoji for the video is pizza <laughs> because we've been eating a lot of oven pizza during our quarantine <laughs> Um, yeah, so give me a pizza if you made it this far, if you found this useful. Let me know below which one of these um, you think you would want to get into, or if you've already done this kind of thing, um, let me know which ones are working for you, and we can talk about it in the comments. I would love to have a good discussion about ways that we can all add digital products to our kind of physical product shops and uh, and how to make that work so yeah and i have the checklist down below of um the different kind of downloads that you can add to your shop so check that out too just check out the links below i got a lot of links below you guys <laughs> so um give me a like and a subscribe and thank you so much for watching i truly appreciate it stay safe wash your hands and i will see you next week bye